Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today's the Pebble Textured Crochet Hat. It's been presented in two different ways on Yarnspirations. First of all here the original was Karen one pound and then it was uh, another kind of version was done with Karen Kindness. They're both exactly the same pattern. What we're going to do today is choose your own adventure. I'm going to teach all three sizes in today's video. You can refer to the video description or the comments. I will put the time markers for all of the different uh, rounds that we're going to be working with today and as we progress then I'm going to be uh, diverting you off to where you need to go in order to finish this particular project. So let's take a look at the breakdown of this pattern. When we go to look at this pattern you'll notice that it has a breakaway. So the sizes that you see 2 to 4, 8 to 10 and adult are in the different colors right here. So when there is no color breakdown that you see that means that everything is the same. So all of this instruction from 1 to 6 is the same for each one of the sizes and then right here 2 to 4 size only is number 7. So you, if you were doing this size you're going to do number 7 and then number 6 and this is where 2 to 4 ends before progressing into page number 2. If you're then making the 8 to 10 years from number 6 you're gonna jump over to number 7 here 8 to 10 years in adult only. This is 7 and then 8 and then 8 to 10 ends here and then you're gonna go to the other page. If you were doing the adult size when you get to number 6 you're jumping over 2 to 4 because it's only uh, 2 to 4 only and you're gonna do the adult size here from 7 and 8 and then you'll do the adult size 9 and 10. So let's flip on over to page number 2. So this here is page number 2. So if you finish 2 to 4 and 2 to 4 ends here you're gonna immediately go to all sizes number 1. If you are finishing then 8 to 10 years 8 to 10 ends here you're gonna then go to all sizes and then if you're doing the adult again you'll finish this instruction and then jump over here. So when you start then the first round here of all sizes and then the second it says repeat the last two rounds until the beginning measures either five, six and a half or seven inches and if you like the, the metric there it is and so you'll do that and then we continue on. So what we have is that once we get here they all are th the pattern is completely the same. You just have to get the size that you want for height and then we're just going to progress here to the end. So this is our adventure today and we're gonna begin and let's get our yarn started. It is a five millimeter size H crochet hook. You can do your Karen one pound. You can do your um, um, Karen kindness. I'm gonna be using Red Heart Hopscotch today. So let's begin the top of the crown. So we start at the top of the hat and work our way down. We're gonna do the beginning chain. We're gonna start with a slip knot and we're going to chain two. So one and two. Now let's progress to round number one. In round number one we're gonna do the second chain from the hook which is the very first one and we're going to place then um, six single crochets in the same stitch and that'll cause a circle. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I didn't cover the straggler enough so I will have to use a tapestry needle to hide that in so I'll show you that in a moment. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you wanna slip stitch to the sixth one back. Now as I said I didn't cover this enough and I'm not gonna lie that I didn't. So what I want to do is just grab a tapestry needle at this point and just slide it through so that it will catch. So on the back side here just put it through some stitch work. Try not to interfere with the outside edging of the actual stitches itself so that because you will have to access those. And the secret to fastening in and off is to go back and forth three times. So I'm only gonna show it to you once at this moment. If you have an open gap and you would like to close it there's nothing stopping you from going across and closing that down too. So it will pull it nice and shut. Just make sure you just go back and forth a few times to capture that in. And if you wanna tie a quick little knot just to secure that you can. And then just make sure that stays on the underside of the hat. So there you go. So I have a knot and I'm just gonna trim that down to the project and then move on to round number two. Let's begin round number two. The secret to this whole thing, this is actually the second time I filmed it. I filmed it years ago and I kept making mistakes. You need to really count your rounds just if you're unclear or unsure. So you're gonna chain three 
and in the same one that you did the join I need you to put in two more double crochet. So it's not like a typical circle the way it starts and that's where I think people go wrong. So starting in the next stitch you want to apply three double crochets into each one of the stitches going all the way back around. So if you had only six single crochet in the last round which you did then you will have six sets of three double crochets when you get all the way around. So please do this. This is round number two and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming all the way around. This is not a stitch here. This is leaning towards this area here. So make sure that you don't include that as being a stitch. So there's six sets of three and when you slip stitch make sure it's nice and tight. So you're gonna come in just give it a reef on it a little bit and then pull it through and through and therefore you won't end up with a humongous space. Let's move on to round number three. Moving on to round number three we're now going to switch to single crochet. So just chain up one and in the same space as the last slip stitch you are going to put in two single crochets. So one and two and then the next two stitches are going to be a single crochet each. So one by itself, two by itself. So here's the repeat for number three. You're gonna put two into the first one. So one and two and then the next two are by themselves. So one by itself, two by itself. Please do this for round number three. I'll see you at the end of the round. When you come around if your stitch count is right there's two into this one and then there's two left. So those are one by itself and two by itself and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. So I know my counts are still correct. Let's move on to round number four. Let's begin round number four. The way that round number four is ending is unusual. So make sure that you follow me all the way to the end. We're going to begin by chaining three. So one, two, three and you're gonna immediately go right to the next stitch itself. And in the next stitch you are going to put two single or two double crochet in that stitch. So one and two. And now you're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches coming up. So one and two by itself and then the repeat pattern starts again. So you're going to apply two single crochets into the, or two double crochets into the next one. Sorry about that. And then one double crochet into the next two. You're going to repeat this all the way around except for the very final section of this and I'm gonna see you back there in just a moment. So keep please doing two double crochet in one, one double crochet in each of the next two and keep repeating that close to the very end and I'll see you there and we'll make sure that we finish right because we're gonna end up with an odd number of stitches which is what we need. When you came up to the end of number four we put two into this one and then there's one by itself, two by itself and you will notice that there's two stitches left over so you can't repeat that one more time. So what they're telling us to do in the last two stitches is to apply two double crochets in each. So one into the first one the second one into the first one and then the very last stitch here is gonna have two in it as well. So one and two and you are going to join it to the top of the first chain three and you should have 33 double crochets now going all the way around. So what I would do for myself and I am going to do it is that I'm gonna count and make sure I have 33 before moving on to round number five next. As we begin round number five we're still not big enough obviously so we need to get ourselves bigger but now we are going to start that beautiful texture work. We're going to chain three so one, two, three and then we're going to begin. So you're gonna skip the next double crochet and go to this one right here and we're gonna do a front post double crochet. So just going around the post on the front side pull through, pull through two and two. And now you're gonna go to the one that you skipped and you are going to do a front post double crochet again. So you see it's a crisscross. So this is an increase around. So in between this space and this next double crochet you want to apply one double crochet. This is how it's going to increase. So you're increasing between the stitches and not a stitch itself. So now you're going to do this all over again. So skipping the next double crochet and going to the second over do a front post double and then come back and get the one that you just skipped with the front post double and that will crisscross it. And then to, to do the expansion you're gonna come in between this one and this new one and just go in the space and double crochet. Okay, so skipping the next one, 
double crochet in the front post and then come back and get the one you skipped. And then go in between the space between this one and the next one that you're gonna start with. This is round number five. Please do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round in just a moment. So as you come around on number five, you're going to go in between the space of the last one and before the chain three. And that's the end of a repeat. So this is the 49th stitch. And you're going to join it to the chain three. So you'll notice that the chain three, when we do this, we're building up. You will notice that the rounds are an odd number round. So in this case it's 49. The next time it'll be a 57 and etc. This chain three is more of a builder. So just keep that in mind as you're making your stitch work awesome. Let's begin to round number six. For round number six, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, that counts as the first stitch and then just jumping over you can see that this is the crisscross. This is the first one of the crisscross and you're just gonna double crochet into that one and to every stitch going all the way around. So this is round number six. You'll see this uh, round repeating over and over and over in the future and it's just a double crochet round starting with the chain three. So let's uh, move on to this one and we're gonna be breaking away in just a moment to the different sizes that we have. I'm coming up around number six and we're gonna slip stitch and let's just put this down. So let's go through what we're going to do now is that we're going to choose your own adventure and you're gonna choose the sizes that you would like to go to next and let's talk about that. So if you progress as of right now, the next part of this video, we're going to go to round number seven which will be the two to four age of only. So if you're working on the other sizes, you need to ignore this next round seven and eight. And so round number seven and eight for two to four will end here and then you'll go to the all sizes. If you were then progressing into the eight to ten years and to the adult, you wanna skip this completely. So go, go to the time markers in the comments of this video or the video description. You'll find that you can fast forward yourself to here. And then for the adult size, if you're continuing along, you'll then continue to nine and ten but the eight to ten We'll finish here and then you'll go to all sizes. So we're going to begin now and we're gonna move on to our next section. So just do the section that applies to the size that you would like to do. So let's begin to do that next. For the two to four years of age, this is round number seven. So let's uh, continue our journey. We're going to chain three. So one, two, three and we're going to do a cross a double crochet front post and we're gonna do that a total of three times in a row. So skipping the next stitch you're going to go to the second one over and do your front post double and then do the one coming back. So you need to do three of these in a row. So that was one. So you'll do the next two exactly. So you're noticing that you're not putting a double crochet in between. So let's do three of these in a row first. Okay and then we do the final one. So this is the third time. And then after the third time you were then going to put in a double crochet in the space between and that will be the increase. So let's just review one more time. So the next three sets will be on their own. So double crochet front post. So do it once. You're doing the crisscrossing. Do it again. This is twice. And then finally a third time is a charm. And then once you have that third one in and it's kind of easy to be able to count them because you can see how this one stands on its own. So once the third one is in just go and double crochet in the space and then do the next three and then space next three and space and please do this all the way around. This is round number seven for two to four years of age only. So I've now come all the way around. I have my last set. You can see one, two, three. Don't forget you have to double crochet in that space in between the last stitch and this chain three here and then just slip stitch to the chain three. And that'll conclude off round number seven and so you should have 57 stitches. You may wanna count that just to make sure that you did it right. Let's move on to the eighth round for round or for the sizes of two to four years of age. So this is the eighth round which is the same as number six. For the eighth round for this size two to four it's just chain three and then starting in the next stitches available to you. Don't get confused that you see how it's crisscrossing the first time. This is the first stitch right here, not this one. So make sure that you don't overlook that. So it's just one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round and we'll continue our journey from that point. So I've just come up all the way around. I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three 
and now this is the two to four years of age. I need you to fast forward in this video now to the all sizes and that will carry on your journey for this particular size. In the meantime we're going to continue and go backward now and we're going to start again round number seven starting with the eight to ten and adult size next. For those moving on now to round number seven doing the eight to ten and adult size we're going to begin our journey right now. So we've just now finished off round number six and now moving to round number seven. Round number seven is kind of confusing in some way but I'm gonna try to simplify it for you and let's begin round number seven next. In round number seven the easiest way to do this is to follow my set of instructions and leave the last eight open and then wait for me there. This is where the journey will change as far as changing the stitch counts. But let's uh, just concentrate on the very beginning of this first. We're gonna chain three. So one, two, three and you are going to skip the next stitch and you're gonna go to the second one over and you're gonna do your front post double crochet and you're gonna come back and get the one that you just skipped. And you wanna do that two times in a row. So you're gonna go to the next one. So you skip that one and you go to the second one over and crisscross. So front post double and a front post double. Now, now that two are done you're gonna go into the space in between this one and the new one that's coming up. So that's your increase right here. So that's your repeat going all the way around until the last eight stitches are unused. So skip in the first one, go to the second and then come back and get the one you skipped and you'll do that twice in a row. So skip in the next one and come into the one you skipped and now those two are in a row so then you're gonna go into the space in between. So please repeat this all the way around and meet me when the last eight stitches are available to you and we're gonna change our stitch counts at that moment. So I've been repeating that all the way around so you see that there's a group of two and then there's a, a stitch coming down in between. So this one here all the way to the end there's a total of eight stitches left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So this is where a journey changes at the very end of this and so the adult and the eight to ten years uh, are doing both the same thing at the same time. So uh, you'll do it for both of those sizes. So as we're changing our journey it says we're gonna do a cross double crochet and we're going to, so that means that we're gonna crisscross. So we skip the next one and we double crochet into the next and then come into the one we just skipped. And then it says to do one space or one double crochet in the space in between and that's an increase and it says to do that four times. So if that's one we're gonna crisscross again. Right and then we double crochet in the space in between that's two and then we're gonna crisscross again. And then come into the space in between. So that's three and look at that you got two stitches left. So you crisscross and then come into the space in between and that was four. And then that's it. So just slip stitch to the top of the chain three and that concludes off round number seven for the eight to ten and adult size only. Let's move along to round number uh, eight which is for both of those sizes still. So let's begin. Let's begin round number eight and chaining up three and this is for the adult and the eight to ten years. That counts as the very first one so coming into the first stitch you're going to apply one double crochet into the, each of the stitches going all the way around. Okay so there's no increasing on these double crochet rounds that you see. So I want you to do that all the way around. This is round number eight and this is for both of those sizes that I already discussed and let's just meet you at the end of round number eight. So coming up to the end of round number eight this is for the eight to ten and the adult size slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So if you're doing the eight to ten years of age size I say bye bye for now. You need to now fast forward to all sizes. Just go to the more information of this video or the comments and you'll find the time marker and pick all sizes and you'll pick up the journey. If you're doing the adult size we have two more rounds to do. The next round we're gonna do an increase to get this to adult size and then we'll just uh, finish off the final round before pro uh, progressing to all sizes next. Let's move on to adult size next. For the adult size we have to get a little bit bigger so the stitch count is gonna change just slightly. We're gonna chain three so one, two, three. We're going to do the crisscrossing 
that we had been doing before and this time we're gonna do it five times in a row. So skipping the next one and front post in the next. So we're gonna, I'm gonna count those together. So this is the first crisscross. So let's just say that's one and we do another one. This is two. Another one is three. Another one is four. They're easy to count too if you lose count. And then finally one more for five. So once you have five in a row you're going to put an increase just like you had been before in between the space of the last one here and the new one here. So you're gonna go all the way around and you'll do five and then you'll put one into the space and then five and one into the space. But this is not an even number count so I will meet you at the very final two stitches at the end of this round. This is round number nine. When you come up around on uh, number nine here I did my repeats and there's five and then I end up putting in the space and you'll end up with two stitches that are not accounted for at the very end. Those ones here you just have to crisscross and that's it. Okay, so it's just one on its own like that. And then you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain three and that'll conclude off round number nine. Let's move along to round number ten for the adult size only. Round number ten is like we had done with the double crochet before so chain three and then moving on to the first one and then do each one of the stitches as a double crochet all the way around. I'll see at the end of this round this is number 10 and then we're moving on to all sizes in just a moment after that. So let's just double crochet each round and I'll see at the end of this round. I'm coming up to the end of round number 10 and I'm just going to slip stitch in the top of the chain three and then we're going to proceed to all sizes next. So you're gonna see it's starting to bowl a little bit and we're now really going to have it turn its shape in the next sex in the next section. So let's uh, do all sizes round number one next. So we're moving along in this video. We're moving to all sizes. So no matter what you finished with the toddler size, the kid size or the adult we're all gonna end up here. So we're going to begin round number one and then two and then we're gonna repeat the last two rounds until the project either measures five, six and a half or seven inches. You can see that the kids and the adults are not too far off from each other. The difference is, is that the circumference is a bit different. So let's uh, begin all sizes number one. Let's begin all sizes number one. We're gonna chain three is your first one and then just skipping the next one and do your crisscross. So there's no double crochets being added to any spaces in between them. So you're just crisscrossing each one all the way around. So skip the next one, front post double in the next and then come back to the one you skipped. That's all you have to do and this is round number one of all sizes. Please do this and I'll see you at the end of this round. So now just come all the way around. I crisscross my last two, slip stitch to the chain three. So let's begin then all sizes number, or round number two. Round number two for all sizes you're gonna chain three, count as your first double and then starting in your very next stitch and you're just gonna do a double crochet in each going all the way around. So this is round number two and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up to the very final stitch then on round number two of all sizes and you're just gonna slip stitch. So let's talk about the differences that we need to do for all the different sizes because the edging is gonna be the next round in this tutorial but we need to earn our way to get there first. So fold the hat and put it down like this and let's uh, just talk about it. So the first round was crisscross and the second round was double crochet. So you have to repeat rounds number one and two over and over and over to get to the size that you would like to do. Now this is the adult size version but what you have to do is that you have to get yourself to the size that you would like to do. So the five inch here would then be the toddler size. Six and a half inches here would be then the kid size and then approximately seven inches here would be the adult size. So what I need to do is that I need to earn myself and get myself to seven inches just like you see down here before I can proceed. So I need to repeat now rounds one and two until I get to the size that I want. Now if this was the kid size version chances are I would move right to the edging next but because it's not I have to earn my way there first. So let's uh, meet you at the edging first round and just repeat rounds number one and two until you get to the size that it suggests either five inches, six and a half or seven inches. 
so I've now just finished the second round of all sizes and I've gotten my seven inches that I needed to get done. So it actually looks pretty cool at this point. So we're going to move on to the edging next. So you could have either six and a half inches or five inches done and we're moving on to edging first round. As we move on to the edging in the first round you're going to notice that we're gonna tighten it up a bit and it says chain one, one single crochet in the same as the joining space Okay, so it's a slip stitch and then it says one single crochet into each of the next 12 if this is the toddler size, 13 if this is the kid size and 15 if this is the adult size and then the next stitch is going to be a single crochet together and it says repeat from the asterisk three more times. So it's one single crochet from each and you're gonna choose the number of the size that you're working on. Now when you get to the very end it says one single crochet in each of the last zero 2 and 0. So for the toddler size there will be no stitches left because the repeat will take you right to the end but for the kid size here there will be 2 stitches left so you're going to apply one single crochet in each of those 2 and then for the adult size because of the repeating is gonna end right where it should there's gonna be no stitches left and then you're going to join it. So I'm going to leave this with you. So let's just begin. I am working on the adult size so I will teach that size but just substitute with this information if you're doing the toddler or the kid size. So for the edging you're gonna chain up one and in the same one that you have the join you're gonna single crochet in either the next 12, 13 or 15. So you're choosing the size. In my case it will be a, a total of 15. So let's just do the adult size. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So if this is the toddler size the next one is 2 together. So then I, it's not so I'm going to work on it. So it's gonna be 13 is the next stitch. Then if this is the kid size then the next 2 are together and then you'll keep doing that all the way around and make sure that you do the single crochet in the last 2 stitches that will be left. But for the added size if that was number 13 so we have 14 and 15. So now that 15 are in the next 2 are together. So just pull through and pull through and pull through two. So keep repeating the number that you need. It's either 12, 13 or 15 and meet me at the end of this round and then make sure that after you do the, the um, 12, 13 or 15 you do the two together just like you see. I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up all the way around and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top. The last one was the two together and that was for the adult size but if it was the kid size as I said the last two will be a single crochet and the toddler will also finish with the two together as being the end. So we have to watch ourselves now. We're going to turn our work and begin row number two of the edging. Row number two of the edging working on the wrong side so you should be looking at the inside of the hat. Then you are going to chain up one and you're only gonna work with the back loops only. So if you're new to crochet there's always two stitch or two strands that equal a stitch. The first strand is the first loop is the front loop and the second strand is the back loop. So starting in the very first one going in the back loop only just single crochet in each of those going all the way around. So just in the back loops one single crochet all the way around. This is round number two and I'll see you at the end of this round. And coming up to the end of round number two just like you see in the back loops only and I'm going to join it to the regular stitch of the single crochet and we're gonna turn our work and begin round number three. Round number three is going to start off like this. For round number three you're gonna chain up one and working in the back loops only. So starting in the back loop at the first one you're going to just single crochet yourself all the way around once again. So back loop only and I will see at the end of the round for your single crochet for round number three. So I'm coming up all the way around on round number three. One more round to go. We need to turn it one more time and chain up one and do one single crochet in the back loop once again and this will conclude off your hat. So just one uh, single crochet in the back loop. I'll see you at the end. We will just review on how to fasten off and I will also uh, using the remaining of my yarn because I wanna donate this hat. I wanna make the pom pom to go with it so I can put it into the donation box and gift it to somebody. And finally here we are at the very end and we are just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and then call this quits. So I want to fasten off this yarn. So leave a long enough tail to throw it through a tapestry needle. Like I showed you before 
when we go to finish this off, we want to weave back and forth a total of three times at a minimum. So just throw it through a tapestry needle. So just using your tapestry needle, just go in the inside of the brim and just drag it through about an inch or so. Don't mess with the outside edging. So just pull it through and pull it taut but don't pull it so it changes the shape and then go back slightly different path second time and finally a third time is a charm. So back and forth three times and you're good to go. So we're going to move on to doing the the pom-pom next and this is what it looks like. I think it does look better with pom-pom. Um, just kind of fun and it's really nice. I actually really like this hat. So you can turn it in ways if uh, just in case it didn't line up but where you use top scotch today. So I'm going to re er, use pretty much the remaining of my yarn that I have the red heart hopscotch in order to finish. So here's my pom pom maker and I use pom poms. It does say to use your hand but I've never had success doing it very well. So this is what it looks like. One side has the dimples coming out. The other side has the indentations. So they will match it. So where the indentations are in this one, it'll just sit on top. It doesn't snap together when you're going to use it like this. But once you start wrapping it around with yarn, then it will hold itself together. So starting with your tail, with your ball. Okay, and you're just gonna leave it out a little bit. You are just going to just put it together and just kind of force it to sit together like that and just get it started like this. And then once you have it started, you can just continually wind until you get it as thick as that you would like to go. So usually I like to fill in the entire middle section and just kind of evenly going around each one of these sections. So I'm not counting, I'm just making it look good. So I'm gonna do one side just like this and I'll be back in just a moment when I have this done and I will switch over to the other side but don't cut your yarn in between. So once you think you have enough, you just wanna work your way to the end of the one side. Do not cut your yarn and just simply just flip whatever way you would like to do and then just start and do the next section. So once you start, it'll kinda hold itself into position and then you will do this side and make sure this side looks pretty close to the how this one is wrapped in the density and also the way that it's doing the indentation. So I'll leave that with you and, and I'll be right back in just a moment. So once both sides are pretty much looking even, you're going to cut this yarn leading to the yarn ball and you are going to clamp this thing shut. So you're just going to close it and then just using those clamps, just open them up and put it together and then close. You're now going to grab some yarn from the yarn ball itself. You can be a bit generous with it if you would like to. So keep in the same color, just put it to the side and you're going to run your scissors through the side here. So see how there's an open space? You are going to then just start in the open space and just start snipping. So you might as well snip this one that's joining it to the other side too. And you're going to do this. Now because the clamps are shut, this should not pop off on you. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far but you have not fastened it off. So using the strand that you cut, just equalize it to the same length and just pull it through the crease. So just going down between the two pieces and flip it over to the other side and just give it a good tie. So I don't tie it into a knot the first time but I do just go through like this and I pull it as tight as I can without snapping that yarn. And then right where I am if I lift it like this you can tell that this is the top. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna flip it and come back the other side and tie. Pull it tight. Okay, and then I flip. And I usually do that three times. So now I'm ready to physically tie it. You won't see the knot anyway. Okay. 
So holding those two strands so you know which ones they are you're going to open up your clamping and you're going to just you can do both at the same time. Just pull through just make sure everything has been cut and release it. Now give your yarn give it a good shake okay and then look at it. So you're gonna see that there might be pieces that just don't look like proper. So what you're going to do is just carefully trim your yarn ball to make it or sorry your pom pom to make it look good. You can trim it once it's on the project too. So with your hat you want to just use a hook if you want to and you wanna go to the top side of the hat and you're gonna grab the one strand noticing that I didn't go in the center. So grab the one strand pull it underneath and then come to the exact opposite side and grab the other strand and pull that through. And now you can just go and reach inside and pull it safely to the project. So on the inside of this hat you wanna tie it into a bow tie and once you have the sizing that you want then you can just trim off the, ex the extra yarn left over. So pulling it tight do a bow tie and then you're done. So what this can be done is that if somebody if you're gifting this to somebody they can just undo the bow tie remove this pom pom and then they can toss it into the wash and this would be how you would do a pom pom hat using this particular idea. This is the an amazing hat actually it's really awesome and I can't wait to put it into the donation box to gift it to somebody. Have a great day and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.